Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, as promised, I'm going to take you around my living room and show you all of my plants. So, yeah, let's get started. Guys, right, so I'm going to start here in the court in this corner where I have the majority of my plants. Well, the majority of plants that I have in the living room. <laughs> so, where should we start? Where should we start? Um, let's start with this guy. So this is my ZZ Raven. Absolutely love this one. I'm so obsessed with her. She's been doing really well. Look at those leaves. They're just nuts. Um, yeah, she did really well in the summer. I've got a little alocasia. I got this tiny one because I just thought... I, oh, she's just so cute and little and I actually just need actually more smaller plants because my place isn't that big. And I think this one's called Alocasia Bambino, but um, I will put the name up if that's not right. Okay, up here I have my Adansoniae. Um, she's in the Chusa Pond and she's got a reservoir of water because she's in a non-drainage glass vessel so she's got her um, reservoir of water at the bottom and that keeps her going this one is my little baby Doriaki Anthurium Doriaki I think that's is that the right I don't know am I saying that right I don't know actually um, <laughs> I think I'm saying that right she's so cute that leaf grew in my care she actually came with three leaves and I lost the other two well I actually chopped the other two off because they were just looking like they were on the way out anyway and um, this one is my philodendron oh my god I love this plant my philodendron uh, pastazana um, silver I think it's called silver or something it's got a whole bunch of different names um this leaf grew in my care i'm obsessed with this leaf how gorgeous is that and she has a new one coming so yeah this here is her new leaf on its way um she actually came with this little plant attached the one in the back here this little baby this leaf actually grew in my care and she also has one just unfurling at the moment yeah so they were attached and there's one other plant but that's in my prop bin and yeah that's my alocasia uh dragon scowl she had many more leaves and then she got spider mite and i had to chop a whole bunch of leaves off i'm so upset um and then after that whole experience i actually decided to repot her and I found a whole bunch of corms which I'm going to show you just now um, and yeah I just thought I'll put her in similar to a pond as well she's also in a non-drainage glass vessel and she has the same thing with the lacquer balls at the bottom this is my Monstera Alvo she, I got her and she had I think five leaves so yeah this one this one and this one was unfurling actually when i bought the plant and she's going quite nicely the, i've just put her in this spot recently so hopefully she likes it here um and we've got the gloriosum and this leaf grew in my care and yeah she's quite small still but but next summer I'm expecting to see her go for it and she's got a new leaf, I'm so happy yeah she's got that new leaf there okay calm down, calm down woman <laughs> it's just a plant um, and then here is my Anthurium clarinarium she's doing good things she's doing really good things but I'm actually going to repot this plant into Lechuza Pond also. Actually no, I'm not using Lechuza Pond this time. I'm using a pond that I bought from Soil Ninja. And here is my Skindaxis uh, Exotica. <laughs> I don't 
don't know why I said it like that. Um, also in <laughs> the Choose Upon. This is my Malona Chrysum. When I bought this plant, it's actually in, no, no, it's in different soil. When I bought this plant, it had these two leaves, this leaf, and then this one was busy unfurling and I could already see it had a rip, it was really struggling. I put, made this moss pole and it's loving it. That was the first leaf kind of in my care, which you can see it's tiny, but she has been sizing up. And there's one, two, three here. And oh my gosh, look at that leaf. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so proud of this plant. She's loving it. I mean, she has so much light. She has the lights that are up here. She also gets the lights from this cabinet. And then there's a window here. So right now she's actually getting some nice daylight. Um, on the top shelf, those are the um, alocasia corns. I'm gonna I'm gonna go through the whole process. It was a really fun process. Really enjoy growing these, and they're all in the choose upon. This is a seedling. Uh, it is a Florida ghost. Loving life up there. I've got a Hoya Hoya Ti in the corner. Also want to. I actually want to repot it in that glass vase, but at the moment it's just kind of hanging out in there. And then here I have another Scandapsis um, in the Choose Upon with a really nice large um, reservoir of water, which I wish I'd done on the others. So I might have to repot all of them. Um, this was from a plant swap. It was actually just kind of like a little add-on. Um, I actually don't know the name of this. Uh, I kind of do know the name, but I just can't remember. <laughs> and then this is my Epipremium Marble Queen. Some people call it the Snow Queen, I think. Um, she's got some really beautiful variegation. And she's also in the Choose Upon. I just recently put this one in the Choose Upon. This is my Christmas cactus. She, I'm going to put like, uh, hopefully I can put a photo of this cactus. It had like a little Santa hat on. Um, and this is the remains of a spider plant I had. Oh, I'm so upset. I had these two spider plants. They were massive. They grew so beautifully. I bought them and they were tiny and they grew like crazy. Within six months, they were triple the size. And then the summer came, we had this crazy heat wave, and this is all I could rescue. So I do want to actually get another one, although, I, to be honest, they were taking up a lot of space, and um, I was kind of running out of space. I didn't let them die, if I promise you, <laughs> but I did kind of, yeah, I ran out of space. Um, so I don't know if I will get another one, although I really want one. Um, yeah, here yeah, we've got more Hoyas. So in this cabinet, I kind of decided to put most of my Hoyas. I've got a Pupacalyx. This is actually a cutting from the mother plant, which is in the hallway, and I'll show you that probably in a different video. Um, I've got this Hoya. Mm, I know it's called the Black Margin, but it's got another name. <laughs> I'll put that on the screen if I figure out how to do that and here I've got a string of turtles and this was just like one string it was so crazy let me just get her out of sorry about the whole leaf thing let me just grab her so yeah she was like literally she was just that bit at the bottom well she was that long and then I wrapped her up put her in the pot and she just grew all of these extra like tendril, I don't know what you call them, vines. And look at her! Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I absolutely love this plant. She was living up here actually before. So I'm gonna put her back there. Um, next, I have 
this Hoya, which I also got on a plant swap. Actually, it was the plant swap where this was added in, which was very sweet of her. This plant came in that heat wave and when it arrived, it was shriveled up and actually I thought it was dead to be honest. So I cut all the roots off, rerooted it and this is what we have today. Look at her. She is magnificent. I absolutely love her. She's doing good things. Um, this one is the Australia Lisa. Sorry, I forgot to say. And then I've got the Pink Princess. Yeah, that is not a Hoya. That is, yeah, she's kind of struggling to be honest. I put her in pond and probably not really liking it, but I'm being very insistent. Um, I also did, I also put a white princess in Lachuta Pond and oh my God, that plant just rejected it completely, like really hated it. This is, um, this one here is a Crimson Queen um, cutting. The larger mother plant is in the hallway. I did like a load of cuttings. But this one here is actually, let me just get that out of the way. This one here is actually, look at her little pinky bits. Um, I think it's called a Marginata Albo. And then this plant, oh shoot. Oh no, disaster. Okay, we will figure that out afterwards. And then this plant here was actually a cutting. It was just, what that leaf this leaf and what is the other one and i think that one and this kind of all of this grew yeah i kind of cut it thinking oh it'll, it'll encourage bigger leaves and it just that was a nightmare i really shouldn't have done that i should have left it alone um but i actually want to repot this one as well um, I'm not sure what substrate I'm going to put it in just yet. And then down here, this is, oh, here we go. Here's another plant that I just spilt. <laughs> um, another one of my alocasius um, dragon scales. And then down here, we have another cutting of the Crimson Queen. I have some more corms in there can't actually remember which corms they are. A cutting from my Black Margin Hoya. This is the Crimson Princess. Not my favourite, to be honest, but yeah, I'll keep going with it. It's also in a cheetah plant. In fact, everything down here is in a cheetah plant. This was my Silver Dragon. I'm gonna put a, try and insert a picture of this plant. I grew it from a cutting it grew massive and then in that heat wave it got, I don't know, maybe spider mite, something. And I had to cut it up <laughs> my heart. I love this plant. I love its bluey green leaves, like silvery blue. It's just so unique to have a plant of this colour. So cute. Another cutting. Um, and this is a cutting of my Syngonium Albo, which is in the bedroom at the moment because it's got thrips. And this is my um, Philodendron Pink Princess. Her last leaf just kind of got a bit caught up on its way out. And this is its next leaf, which is full pink again. I did have a full pink leaf on this before, but it died. It melted and died, but she's doing good things. I actually cut this plant. It was just giving me green leaves, so I actually cut it. I think you can see here I cut it. So right down, I think there was just one leaf, and then it grew all of this. And these pinky leaves, I'm so proud. And then there's, yeah, there's two plants in this pot. The other plant probably isn't doing so great and probably I might cut it back in the sun, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's pretty much all green. That was its last. It's so bad, I'm sorry. But yeah, 
It's this last kind of pinky leaf, really. I don't see any others. Oh, there's a bit of pink on that one. And there's pink on that one. Sorry. <laughs> there's pink on that one. Okay. So, oh, I haven't done this one. This is my jewel orchid. Now, as you can see, she's looking really sad. She started flowering and yeah then everything just started going wrong but she's actually in this really tiny 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 pot so can you see it's tiny and she's kind of like growing out of it um she's not looking too good so i'm going to repot this one most definitely like i feel like a real urgency with this plant like I feel like every second she's dying and I'm doing her an injustice I really love her I love these leaves look at those <sighs> they're looking pretty shitty at the moment they're looking very dehydrated at the moment but um I think once I've put her in some new soil in this pot which is it's really big but I mean she looks like she grows like a nutter so I think she can cope with the pot so yeah, I think that's everything. Oh, no, 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 sorry, there's more. There's more. So, that's a bit of a mess over here. So here I have another Monstera baby little one, which I bought from Ikea. I don't know why I bought this plant. I don't really know what I was thinking. But anyway, I have it. <laughs> um, I've got another ZZ, the green one. I really love that plant. Oh my god. Love it. Um, this is... What's that? Monstera Mini... Um, I can't remember the name of it right now. But I will put the name... On the screen. And I bought... The, I grew these from... Like, just stems. I think they call them wet sticks and put it in a prop box and that's what I got so far. I'm really proud of this little babies. I'm really looking forward to summer. Okay, what else have I got? I've got some syngoniums here, which I kind of, it was one big plant and then I decided to separate it because I want to give them as gifts or do some plant swaps with them. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm trying to like go past all the mess without <laughs> showing you all the mess. But yeah, that's it. My Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah, those are all my plants. In this room. I will do another video with the hallway and hopefully I can show you my syngonium. Um, I'm just waiting for this whole thrip situation to end. Please let it be over. All right, guys. Okay, guys, so that is all of the plants I have in the living room. Excuse the mess. Um, and also, like, the lighting is nuts in here. I forgot to say, I have skylights. So, and I'm using um, plant lights at the moment because I'm in the UK, it's winter, it's gloomy and dark, although today is beautiful. It's a really lovely sunny day, typically. Um, <laughs> like normally it is literally, it's gray every day. And so I don't really struggle with um, like light and stuff. Well, I struggle with light with the plants, which is why I have the, the plant lights. But um, yeah, so please excuse the weird camera stuff and the lighting I am still learning so you know be gentle with me <laughs> I'm gonna get better I promise um, if you made it to the end well done thank you so much um, I really appreciate your time and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe I'd really love that I'd love to see you here again on my journey so yeah have a good day have a good evening, have a great life, <laughs> and I'll see you again soon. Bye.